So, this is what happened this morning, taking Daisy and the dogs with me. I opened the door to the arena and the kitten was there and only Daisy saw her. Chased the kitten up to the loft. And as I went to try and go get her, she was like, she jumped off the loft. I'm like, ah, I'm trying to catch her. And I didn't get there in time. And she jumped and landed face first on I thought for sure she was gonna get hurt. Oh my God. Uh, deaf dogs, man. Oh, look at her face. Is her nose bleeding? Well, Oops. I don't know because she did hurt her face. Oh, I see it. I see it. I can't catch her. <gasps> her nose is all red. Come here. Come here. Come. Ruby, come. Oh, you poor oh, little broken. Normal. No, that that's normal. red. Oh, she skinned her nose for she sure. Did, like, lay it. She was like. Did she, her job, oh, she herself, did she see. scream? Let's see. No, she didn't scream. Mm, kind of looks a little swollen. But, I mean, Holy heck. Okay. All right, I'm going down chiropractor. All right. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I got my winter coat on because it's supposed to get really cold. You guys just heard what Sam was telling me about what happened this morning. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. So, if you're just tuning in, you might not know that our Dalmatian is deaf. But she is deaf. And, so deaf dogs suffer more things than just not being able to hear. Oh, well, hello kitty. Apparently, so, like, you don't realize how much you need hearing to figure things out. Like, it's, it takes longer to figure things out when you can't hear, if that makes sense. Like, there's so much more to not being able to hear than not being able to hear. So, apparently, she chased the cat up these stairs to that loft and then jumped down. Luckily, she's not completely uh, developed yet. Her bones are probably still a little soft. But holy heck. Can't even imagine that. Can you imagine that? Anyway, today's going to be chilly. Willow's going to have to get her blanket on. Horses are out there having breakfast. Kitty is still alive. Puppy face planted. Bet you she, bet you she landed right there. Because that looks like a spot she could have landed. But yeah, wow, not so. Anyway, Sam is home today because his work is back because of lockdown. His work is back to every other day. Woo woo. So why are you in the barn so early, Laura? Why not spend the time doing school and cleaning your house, which is what you love to do? Well, I'll tell you why. Today's chiropractor day. And a chiropractor day means so much more than it ever meant before. It means seeing another human being. It means talking to another human being. It means cleaning the barn up because your husband doesn't really do that fancy of a job when you're expecting guests. So yeah, that is what I'm doing. Sophie's down and we broke the record we broke the law we got shirts you guys let's show them it's a little big for her but it's super cute I uh, love you in a v-neck I like the pink one too just I like the blue one yeah so we got a bunch I'm of shirts yesterday percent. yeah I got four new shirts I don't yeah you gotta brush your hair before we leave to go to the other barn okay all right, yeah, so Sophie just ran down and she came. Why'd you come, Sophie? Because I have to put Willow's blanket on. Put Willow's blanket on her. It's true. The hard part is catching the beast. Yeah, I think she'll be maybe okay. Take I'll, a carrot. Maybe I'll trick her and say that I'm giving her, go, bringing her to go get grass. Yeah, that's why Penny's there. I see her. She's like, oh, what's happening? Are we going to eat grass? I am trying to clean up a few things. These are my grooming gloves, if anybody's wondering. These are the things I swear by. It's so much handier than a grooming brush. 
they have, they have these little things on it. it takes out all the hair like it sheds them and I love these so our chiropractor just messaged me and told me she's 30 minutes behind which is great I have a chance to clean up the barn which I love and um, she's not so I told you guys the other day that Penny seems a little off in the back end back right to me so um, when I knew that she was coming to take care of the boys for the regular appointment I asked her to come stop by and do Penny so she's doing that and then we're gonna race to the other barn and then we're gonna do the boys it's gonna be a busy day crazy busy day for us but yeah I don't really vlog it because I don't like to vlog other people unless they know and unless I ask them so yeah it's gonna be like a crazy vlog crazy day for us but stuff that you guys won't really get to see so I'll try and vlog in between and let you guys see all the stuff that happens like there's so much more to having horses than just like hanging out and playing with them and riding them and there's so much more you backed up a whole inch oh but I was trying to get her to go forward did you hear what happened to your dog today oh yeah her, she, her suicide. yeah and she got hurt did you see her face no with the blanket it's on the... Well, your dad didn't notice anything either. As soon as I looked at her, her face is all red and her jaw was... I know, I did her blanket up all wrong. But that's just oh, it's crooked. something that has to happen sometimes. Hi, Gracie. Hi, Pen. I'll be coming for you a little later, okay? If someone wants a puppy dog, they can have a puppy so they get a puppy set. They need Gracie. Gracie's a puppy. Gracie is a puppy. checked she was out everywhere so I'm glad she got treated she adjusted well Sam took the girls to the other barn this barn so that they could catch the horses before she arrived so then I came and she came the horses oh gosh oh my gosh this is nuts so oh Finn it's okay it's okay storm <laughs> It's okay. Stop. We gotta fix this. I gotta get grab a grab a halter. Our horse storm has taught all the herd to be terrified of people. Yeah, like it's annoying. All right, I'm using somebody else's halter. I'm gonna catch one. Pray for me. I'm catching it. A horse catcher. I've been. Ready, Finn? Come on, Finn. All right. Me, Laura, the mom. I caught one horse. Did it all myself, you guys. Like I, I, so, so I got here. Where are the brushes? I got here and I saw Sam's car, but no kids and no Sam. So I looked in the field and they were not here. I got Finn. <laughs> Tell Sophie I caught Finn. I caught Finn. He's in. He's in. Get somebody else's halter on him. Sam's kitchen storm. When, oh no. Oh, I'll get you. 
This is just nuts. There they go. You guys see Storm? Don't leave Gabby down there by herself. Makes me nervous. I got thin though. So yeah, like this is something that we're gonna have to figure out. I'm gonna have to ask Fiona how to fix this one because even we bring treats, it's like a game to them now. Like, actually, I think they're genuinely scared. I think they're scared. Like, I came out here, I came out here because I saw them all run here and all the horses were terrified. What? What? Oh, did you? All right, so we got Chino. So it's just storm missing. Like, it has to stop. I think, like, now they see see people and they get scared. And I don't even know, I think they know what they're scared about. Did she catch him? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? Did they just stop? Oh, no, there he is. Okay, here, here he comes. Him, yeah. He's tired. Gabby's out there all alone. With horses running through the trees. Look, there he is. storm uh oh saw Sam and then took off again oh he's gonna what an absolute brat like seriously guys it's been like 10 minutes and they're not back yet I just saw a horse go running in that direction again what the oh my gosh now they're all running I see Sam uh oh I see Sam Sam horse is running still did you catch him Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Like it's not just our horses, it's all the horses. So what do we do? I'm gonna ask Fiona, but what would you do? We can't take rain out, we can't take food out because it's dangerous in a big herd. All right, Stormy boy. Long, that was a record catch, Gabby. Took a long time. Storm. Let's see, how do you feel, Sam? I think if that one horse wasn't running, then the other ones wouldn't run. Which one? Yeah. The black and white one? Yeah. Because yeah. it just came running to where all the other ones were in. Oh, so these guys were standing in the field and then another horse came running up to them and then alerted them and they all... <laughs> We still love you, Stormy boy. Just like, can you right. not run? Just could you not run? <laughs> and there they are. I see Finn down there now. There's Finn. There's Finn and Storm. There they are. They have to be the farthest away. Chino's the farthest. Where's Chino? Oh, they did the Chino. It's like, Chino is, where's Chino? There he is, way down there. Now we have to get him. Uh-oh. There they go. There goes Storm. This is what I said. As long as you can get Storm, we'd be fine. Now more horses are running. More horses running. Now Chino's running. There goes Chino over there. Ooh, Storm. Storm is being a meanie. All right, there's our three horses, Finn, Storm, and Chino. And hopefully we can get them. They're pretty far away. Look how far away they are. Ooh. Pretty far, that's a far walk. And there they go. All the horses behind me are running. Oh no. And there they all run. And there they go, and we're stuck. This is the sucky part. At least if they were in a pen, if they were in a pen, you wouldn't have to chase after them. They'd want to go with you. But now that they're out here, this big old lovely field, they don't want to come with you. We are done at the barn for the day. All of our horses needed the chiropractor. Stormy was out in his low back. This guy was out in his low back and his wither and Storm in his wither. And he was so relaxed. Yeah. 
This is what happens after the Cairo. They get so Finn relaxed. Finn grumpy today. Is he? He's a grumpy pony. He just wanted to stand around. Do we have to put blankets on him? I know. All right, so the cook-off has begun, you guys. It began like 20 minutes ago. It began like 20 minutes ago. This is what it looks like. These are my baking supplies. The girls all bought their own baking supplies. Oh, try this. It tastes exactly like the stuff inside the I just says. finished eating bacon. I can't eat it. No, I have bacon taste in my mouth. I can't eat sweet stuff. Okay, so the bake-off has begun. Gabby is in there with her hands. What are you making? Cookies. Cookies. Sophie, Gabby's making cookies. Are you using chocolate chips? Mm -hmm. Oh, she bought her own chocolate chips and chocolate. Are you putting bananas in? No. Bananas need to go in the fruit bowl. These are my own chocolate chips for my own thing. Um, Who paid for those chocolate chips? Me. I went in. You went in, but they were mine. Okay, so Gabby's making chocolate chip cookies. What are you making? Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. I'm so excited. Sophie, that is not very much Reese's Pieces. Like, that is a little bit of Reese's Pieces. Okay, I can double it. Or do you have to add more stuff? Like, is that all you add? And then I need to melt chocolate. Oh, all right. It's you have to crack this egg perfectly. All right, let's watch Gabby crack this egg perfectly. Talent. Talent. What is this? Beef and broccoli. I can crack eggs perfectly. That's All right, talent. so Gabby's making chip. Gabby's making cookies. Sophie's making Reese's pieces. Oh, this is a fresh batch. Well, and I be. am making fudge. I hope it be. be. These are all my ingredients. For any of you guys that can't watch because sugar hurts your eyes, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Ooh, things are heating up, you guys. Look at what she's doing. Where'd you get this recipe? Dad. Yeah, Dad is the king of TikTok, you guys. He'd be TikToking us all sorts of recipes. I even know how to make cake from just Nutella and... Oh, Dad sends me these things where there's like huge boxes, one slice boxes when it's like a huge pizza and no slices, just one giant slice. Okay, so... Let's, this gonna let's talk about else? how, I don't know if anybody can see, but let's talk about, don't put it into the chocolate. Let's talk about how Ga Sophie wears the ingredients. What is this? Oh, boobs. I do too. Oh, oh, boobs. Mama got your boobs. <laughs> Twins, yeah, I wish. Gabby wears the, the ingredients Gabby, got too. Your boobs. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what Gabby's doing, just, just so in case touch. you missed it. Don't touch. Touch her creation. Do you got the oven already heat, heating? She has to take all the things out. Yeah. All right, so she puts the cookie on top of the graham cracker on top of the chocolate. Gabby forgot a step, so she's doing it now. She forgot that you actually have to put marshmallows too, so these must be s'more chocolate chip cookies. I literally said that in the car. Oh, why well, was it listening in the car? Oh, why is the chocolate melting? Oh, because the... Thanks right. hot. So it's graham cracker, chocolate, marshmallow, chocolate chip cookies. Mm. So he's getting all stressed out because there's too many cooks in the kitchen. And yeah, I can understand that. I don't deal with this. Imagine we were on one of those shows. Well, and at least they all have their own kitchen. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think we should make our own cooking show where we all have to fit in one tiny little kitchen. When we get a new And the house, first gonna... person to uh, scream. I'm going to have a kitchen in my room. <laughs> the first person to scream and complain loses the challenge. Are death threats okay? Death threats are okay. Okay, so Sophie is on the next stage of hers. She has melted chocolate in the bottom. And then she's putting the peanut butter mixture that she made. And then she's putting chocolate on the top. Uh-oh, I see smoke coming from the oven. I see smoke. But those are not cooked. You, did you put them on the bottom rack? rack? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to put them on the top rack. All right, so are you sure you don't want any of these to put on the top or inside them? I'm sure. Gabby's like, I will have some. Okay, so I'm going to show you mine. So this is my fudge. And it actually tastes so good. Um, I have Reese's Pieces fudge here, maple walnut here, and score over here. Oh, come on. You know it's good. This is so good, you guys. This is actually way better than I thought it was going to be. So back in the day when I had a whole different life, when I had three sons and had like a whole different life, uh, my sister and I used to get together and make fudge every year. And we tried this. We always made it with this one recipe. And I thought this was the same recipe. This is not the same recipe. A friend sent me this recipe. Oh, she said this is the best fudge that you could ever make. And it is. Like, it's so good. It's already firming up before I even... Before I even put it in the fridge to cool it down. Like, I have a really big disadvantage. So, yeah, yeah, they're all having a big disadvantage now. 
Mom, it's gonna be so yummy. No, because I got to the stove late. Because that's okay. That's okay. Gabby might have a little bit of a undercooked on the top. Oh, so is Dad the judge? Yeah, Dad is the yeah. judge. It's a couple hours later, and Sam is gonna try. I gave him two pieces of fudge, one of Sophie's Reese's peanut butter cups, and one of Gabby's hey, cookies. Hey, you can only do one fudge. So All right. one bite. One bite Mine first. Yeah, Mine first. of each thing because I want to try that oh, cookie. This looks really good. I don't really love Look Reese's, but Sam, oh, I know. Oh, it's melting though. I know, Sophie Lose did that. points for melting. You lost that's points not, for melting. That's melt, not supposed to melt. All so the dogs are like, give me some. It's hard to bite. It's good. It's good. I'm five, sister. It's good, but it melts too quick. Yeah. All right. All right. Next one. No, I. I can't lie, cause I like these, cause I've already eaten Gabby's yesterday. So. I know, me too. <laughs> yesterday ones were just cookies. There wasn't anything inside of them. Just cookies. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, that one's more out cookies. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is disgusting. Yeah. It's all right too. <laughs> the fudge is so good to me. Okay. The maple walnut it's was the between. best. I can't say fudge is not my favorite. Fudge Mine should be favorite. the obvious winner. Reese's are not my favorite. So it's between this one and that one, Gabby's and Sophie's. Mm -hmm. Mine. So I'm going to have to pick Gabby's because it's more tasty. But yours was good too. But this is delicious. Yeah, it's, it's delicious, but it's... But here's the know, thing. Here's the, here's the problem. Here's the problem with only having one judge. He likes... Like he, he he doesn't like fudge, so uh, mine didn't get a fair tr fair trial. Yeah, but I love Reese's. Reese's is my I favorite. Reese's. And it was actually good. Mmm. I still can't believe this puppy, you guys. She dove off the hayloft, like at least eight feet in the air, just ran and jumped down it. Then when we got home from the barn, spending the whole day at the barn with the with the chiropractor, um. I opened the door and she ran out and what she does is she gets to the end of the stairs and jumps, flies. Aww. She just jumps and flies, which is why I think she did that in the hayloft. So yeah, there will be no dogs going up those stairs ever again. Don't you know that you're beautiful?